Hi, this is Alexis Marie Chute, author of Expecting Sunshine. I am sitting here with a snowy, chilly uh, view behind me, but the sun is warm on my back because spring is coming, which means Mother's Day is also coming. So I have created something really special that I want to share with you for Mother's Day and also for the first uh, anniversary of Expecting Sunshine Memoir. So what I have here is a lovely book box that you can order and have mailed directly to you or to someone you love. If you wanna spoil uh, your mother, your wife, your girlfriend, uh, or someone who's been through a tough time this spring, this Mother's Day, this is a great box in order to do that. So I'm just gonna share a little bit about what is in the box with you so you can kind of get a sense. So very first off, of course, if it's a book box, then there is a book inside. So this is my memoir, Expecting Sunshine. It came out in April 2017. So this year, April 2018th, is its one year birthday, yay! I'm like the mom to a, would this be considered a toddler baby now? Toddler book baby? Anyway, this book has won so many awards. It's been turned into a documentary film that is screening around the world. The film is winning awards. I think at the heart of this, message um, is that storytelling is so powerful. No matter what you've been through, whether it's the loss of a child, another family member, a friend, even just some kind of personal setback, we all experience grief in our life. And the sooner we face it head on and are open and vulnerable with what we're going through, it, the faster we can blossom into the people that we are meant to be, full of hope, joy, love, and healing. And healing is beautifully transformative, even though it sucks in the process. So this book is my journey through losing my son, Zachary, but it's also a journey about finding myself and discovering the fact that love never dies, even if the person that you love is no longer here with you. And so that is a message that resonates so deeply with me and has resonated deeply with thousands of people around the world. So inside the book box, you get a copy of Expecting Sunshine. Now I am very big on using the arts as a way to heal. You know, I'm encouraging people to be brave, be bold, focus on um, pushing through when life sucks and being resilient and fighting through. But easier said than done, right? <laughs> like you're probably watching this and if you're struggling right now, you're like this crazy biatch is, you know, like just full of fluff. And I've been there, I've listened to people full of fluff. I've read, you know, the first quarter of books full of fluff and I've thrown them away. But at the end of the day, what I've really found personally, um, that resonates personally and has transformed my life is creativity. And so I've included in the book box expecting sunshine journal and it's this beautiful like little hand sewn thing it's perfect to fit in your purse and it's just got like blank pages and so i encourage you whatever you're going through to pick up this journal or another journal and write it out so i teach a class called healing arts and i'm going to be teaching uh further into spring a class called healing uh, no, creativity to heal and empower. <laughs> I thought I got to remember the title, right? And so writing is such a quintessential part of this. I believe that, you know, journal writing is healing, poetry is healing, even fiction writing. My new book called Above the Star, book one in the Eighth Island Trilogy, is all um, kind of like a, a catalyst was writing it through the stage of grief and using fiction as this amazing tool to express what was subconscious inside of my own self as I was going through my loss. So I wanted, I was really passionate about including a journal in this book box for that very reason. Okay, so moving along, I really want this book box to be something that creates an experience. So in doing that, I've got a lot of little things in my hands here. I've made these amazing candles. Yes, I make candles, <laughs> multi-talented type of person. But like, oh my gosh, if you could just, just smell it, just smell. Oh, okay. I have to look at my little cheat sheet here because the title of this candle, so it is the smell 
is creamy chai cinnamon swirl. Oh, like it's seriously amazing. Um, and the color is sparkly pink pumpkin. And I tested it out and it burns for 14 hours. So also a little treat. You can hear that, some jelly beans, gourmet jelly beans, Earl Grey tea. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And if you're like me and you really <laughs> need people to stay out of your space while you are reading, here is a handy dandy little door hanger. We all have these on our doors at our house. Like all of my kids, my husband and I, <laughs> nobody listens and respects it, but the idea is I'm reading, hashtag I'm reading, please let me be in my zone and take some personal time. Okay, and then if all those yummy things, delicious smell, taste wasn't enough, uh, I have some amazing friends, David and Lizzie, and they've created, um, they've actually created a, a cookbook called, again, I'm on my cheat sheet, Pancake Inventor's Notebook by David Leach and Lizzie Davies. It's available on Amazon, but for people who get this book box, you get like this amazing, look at that, delicious, Dr. Johnny Cake's Pina Colada Breakfast, barbecue breakfast. It's like, their entire cookbook is with pancakes. And so talk about comfort food for somebody who maybe you need comfort or maybe you're just like basking in, you know, the, the quality time with a book that this door hanger allows. So all these little things are meant to come together. And then I've also made some little uh, thank you cards. They're blank on the inside. You get three of them with envelopes. So you can send them out to the people, whoopsie they've just slipped down to send it out to the people who've been so kind and grateful to you and just spreading the love and gratitude gratitude can change the world if we let it so moving along i painted a picture based on the book cover now i'm going to give oh my gosh more things are falling it's an avalanche so based on the book cover i made this painting and I had some girlfriends come over and we were brainstorming and they said, okay, make this painting and then cut it up into pieces and give it out as bookmarks. And my first thought was like, oh, you want me to cut up a painting? Oh my gosh, like this is just too crazy. So I thought about it and I, I slept on it and it was really like the idea behind this is so moving and powerful. So people, um, if you have a good look at that, you'll see that they are, all the pieces are numbered. And so what I've done is I cut the painting up. It used to be six feet by seven feet, and I cut up into 336 little bookmarks. And so everybody who gets one of these delicious book boxes will get a piece of the painting. And so what I've done is I've numbered each piece and signed it. As the artist that I am, I would like to I like to sign my artwork. Um, but then you can look and see like where your piece fits in amongst all the rest. And the idea with these painted bookmarks, it is so special, is that we're all pieces of a greater whole. And when one of us are down, the rest of us can lift and support that person. So the, oh, all pieces of a greater whole. I love that. So often in life we can feel alone, we can feel like no one's, our problems are no one else's. We can feel that we're walking this journey of life alone. And that is heartbreaking because really we are not alone. We are all pieces of one greater whole and we can support and love and encourage and champion each other. That is what we're here to do on this earth is to support each other and to be uh, a family. So there's so many amazing things in this book box, like a little beautiful keychain. So, you know, um, I just really want to encourage you. Maybe you need to give a gift to yourself. You need to give a gift to somebody else that is super meaningful. We can give flowers chocolate while my hips love the chocolate <laughs> um, and my eyes love the flowers. I really do uh, appreciate gifts that are super thoughtful and outside the box. It can be sometimes uh, remarkably surprising. And so imagine getting uh, an amazing book box in the mail. So. It is filled with fantastic little uh, uh, recycled paper confetti. We also have some resources here from Pregnancy After Law Support, and I am spilling this, but we've got some beautiful things from people who really care and who've walked this journey. So this is inside the box. 
Um, so Pals has wonderfully like partnered up here and come together to create this really special box. So I would, <laughs> I literally have like these confetti things uh, in my hair. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. Please encourage your friends and family to support this awesome box and make a difference in opening up the conversation around grief, loss, and healing, and hope, and how we are not alone. And so thank you so much. I'm Alexis Marie Chute. Pick up the Expecting Sunshine book box and have a blissful, amazing spring and an amazing Mother's Day.